Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Sah, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Sah. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Basem, Yahweh Sah, Basem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and Great Millstone. And Barakatam to you, brothers, as I teach this truth with faith and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And um, this is a screenshot I took from um, Danny Hafon. Uh, you know, he's uh, basically, you know, a guy on YouTube that, you know, brings brings out good information on, you know, the things that's happening in the world, you know. And um, I took a screenshot of this because I didn't have time to watch the video. And uh, it says Israel announces Iran attack to occur before U.S. election, you know, and, uh, you know, you know, the small heads, they want all, all hell to break loose, you know. Mainly, um, mainly, uh, <laughs> Netan, you know, Netan not a do, you know, mainly him because he knows if Israel, you know, he knows if they goes into a peace treaty, he knows he's going to be tried for war crimes. And so he's trying to keep, you know, that place over there in, in a perpetual state of war because that's the only way that he wouldn't, you know, go to jail and, and face all the war crimes that he's done for bombing all those, you know, so-called innocent people. And, uh, yeah, it says, Israel announces Iran attack to occur before a U.S. election, you know, and you, we don't really know what's going to happen over here. It might not even be an election by the time, you know, because... They got all these um, so-called illegal immigrants over here. They have all these different sleeper cells, people from different countries, different um, nationals from from China, you know, the, the uh, South America, you know, you know, all over the place. They got different military aged men that's over here in America right now. And it's millions of them, you know. And uh, we can only speculate on, on what it's going to be like, you know, when the election time comes, because they could, you know, flip the switch and, you know, have all type of, you know, shit pop off different, you know, different false flags and, and so forth, you know. And uh, continuing to read, it says, uh, before U.S. election, Iran says it has secret weapon more damaging than nuclear bomb as Middle East <laughs> as Middle East descends into all out war. Man. So, you know, Israel is going it has been, when Israel goes through with this attack and they say before the elections it's going to draw America out, you know, and, and Lord willing, it, it, it kicks off World War Three, you know. Lord willing, it kicks off the beginning of World War Three, you know, and and all and all hell breaks loose, man. Once it goes hot over there, you know, pretty sure this place is not going to be too far behind, you know. So let's go get some scriptures, and this is Joel chapter three and verse ten: Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong, you know. And a plowshare and a pruning hook are, are, are farming tools. And they beat those farming tools, you know, into into weapons, you know. And that's what these different uh, countries have been doing. Russia, China, they've been, you know, spending, you know, their military, all of their military budgets on, on, on weapons. You know, Iran... North Korea, they've been spending their their nuclear, you know, not nuclear, but their money, you know, their military budgets on on weapons, you know, on weapons to go against, you know, mainly a Babylon the Great, you know. And mainly what they've been what they've been stockpiling is those nuclear weapons, you know. And let the weak say I am strong. They don't fear America, man. They they ready. They ready to go all out, you know? And, uh, this is Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 5. 
for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire you know because this third world war is going to be fought with with missiles man with mainly nuclear weapons mainly nuclear weapons man and you and iran i mean not iran but russia russia um russia posted a video i don't know if it was like on it was on one of their social media sites not social media sites but one of their uh platforms that they distribute through and uh it was uh, a video you know depicting of what one of their nuclear uh nuclear warheads would do to london and you know it completely destroyed the whole <laughs> it destroyed the whole area you know in in russia they have uh, a missile called the satan 2 and it's capable of carrying up to 10 different warheads and just one completely wiped out you know london you know and they have just one missile that could carry up to 10 nuclear warheads you know so this thing is <laughs> hey man this thing when they decide to shoot these things it's gonna be a wrap man it's gonna be a wrap mainly in this place babylon the great you know and uh let's go get this is amos and we'll get chapter nine in verse 8, okay, behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon the sinful kingdom. And that sinful kingdom is America, Babylon the Great. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. Okay. So when Yahweh Shai comes back and destroys this place, you know, he's going to... The 144,000 elect is going to also be delivered, you know, at the same time, you know. But this place, America, Babylon, the great, is going to get fucking destroyed. And we can go also, we can, we could get that. Get, uh, this is First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2, okay? For yourselves, you know, is this the right one? Okay. Yeah. Give me one second. Okay, okay, I got it now. Salakia. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon. Okay, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5 and verse 2. Okay, here we go. When they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far all it's like you're so far beyond all that they looked for okay so when you like when your howard side comes back when your howard comes back on those chariots you know and 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 completely destroys this place by way of those nuclear missiles and also with the chariots you know because the chariots are going to be shooting laser beams at this place also you know the 144,000 elect will also be beamed up into those chariots, you know, while those nuclear missiles are, are, you know, are raining down, you know? And the two thirds, you know, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation because 
the two thirds are going to be looking up, you know, at the at the so called UFOs, but they're really the chariots of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, you know. But you know, the two thirds they've come to, you know, know it by way of uh, a UFO, an alien, you know, and they're going to be, you know, troubled with terrible fear and amazed at the strangeness of his salvation because they're going to be looking at the chariots beam the brothers up, man. So far beyond all that they look for, you know? And, uh, let's go get Psalms. Okay, this is Psalms chapter 91, and I'll start at verse, I'll start at verse 7, okay? A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee, okay? Start it, let's go to verse 6, for the, for the noise, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Okay. And this could also be, you know, you go into it as, you know, when you, when the hopefully let, you know, is being beamed up, you know. They're going to see a thousand fall at thy side, you know? As they being beamed up, they're going to see the reward of the wicked, man. And 10,000 at thy right hand, you know? But it shall not come nigh thee. That nuclear destruction is not going to come by nigh thee, you know? So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles and great millstone. Shalom. That the unimaginable happens. A nuclear weapon explodes over London. In this documentary, we explore the devastating consequences of this catastrophe. In the simulation, we will use a warhead with a yield of 750 kilotons. That's a pretty powerful charge. Some US and Russian ballistic missiles are capable of carrying up to 10 charges in a single missile. Upon detonation, a fireball as hot as the sun rapidly expands, reaching a radius of 950 meters. Anything trapped inside this fireball is instantly vaporized. In our simulation, the epicenter of the explosion is at Westminster. People within that radius won't even feel anything because the nerve impulse transmission speed is slower. Within five kilometers of the epicenter, the blast radius. City of London, Camden Town, Kensington, Brixton. These areas will receive the most destruction. Buildings will be destroyed and debris will fill the streets, creating extremely dangerous conditions for everyone in the vicinity. Given the population density in central London, the initial death toll could exceed 250,000 people and around 600,000 injured. Within a radius of 10 kilometers, the radiation will cause third degree burns. Within that radius, anything that can burn will catch fire. Gas stations, automobiles, power substations, gas infrastructure. Explosive facilities will explode and amplify the effect of the devastation over a huge area including areas from Camden to Greenwich and Islington to Wandsworth. According to various estimates, further 450,000 people will die from burns, debris injuries, or radiation sickness, and over a million will be traumatized. Many of these injuries could prove fatal over the next days and weeks. Radiation sickness in particular will take lives days and weeks later. In time, about 100,000 more will be added to the death toll. Within an 18 kilometer radius of the blast, the shock wave will be enough to shatter windows, causing additional casualties to people who come to the windows when they see the nuclear blast. The shock wave will reach Hounslow, Edgware, and Enfield. 
Depending on the wind, the fallout could spread well beyond the immediate blast zone, potentially affecting areas up to 5 to 10 kilometers away, causing damage even in regions such as Essex or Surrey. The estimated casualties in the event of a 750 kiloton nuclear bomb exploding in London would be about 850,000 people dead and about 2 million injured. If the explosion were to occur on the ground rather than in the air, the fallout map would be greatly expanded and the radioactive fallout could even reach Manchester, infecting people, land and animals. The problem with a nuclear explosion in London is also that London is essentially not designed to survive such a disaster. Eleven of London's 20 major hospitals would be within the blast. The remaining hospitals would be physically unable to cope with the number of victims. Many people are still alive under the rubble of the buildings, suffering burns, but no one will be able to help them. Since the creation of nuclear weapons less than a hundred years ago, there have been more than 20 incidents where a nuclear-armed country was one step away from a nuclear catastrophe. You can easily find these statistics on Wikipedia. I will attach a link to this article in the description of the video. I want to call everyone to action. Nuclear weapons are a real threat to our future. Give this video a like and share it so that as many people as possible can learn about its consequences.